नमस्कार इन दिस लेक्चर सीरीज आई वांट टू एक्सप्लेन व्हाई द स्टार्टअप प्रोग्राम इज रिक्वायर्ड द स्टार्टअप प्रोग्राम इज वन ऑफ द मेजर इनिशिएटिव टेकन बाय द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया नाउ डेज द स्टार्टअप इज एसेंशियल टू बूस्ट अप आवर इंडियन इकोनॉमी डू यू नो हाउ इंटेलिजेंट यू आर यू गिविंग योर अर्निंग टू सम वन हू डज नॉट लाइक यू एंड डज नॉट सपोर्ट यू एंड यू एक्सपेक्ट योर सेल्फ to become a super power how is it that you can be so stupid that you waste all your money on purchasing overseas goods and then you complain that our economy is sinking government is not doing good unemployment etc etc we are wasting our money on feeding the foreign enemies and using the same money to destroy our country some of us never support our indian products and indian business it is the time to change our mind setup please come forward to build our nation the two main goal of this movement were use of swadeshi goods and the boycott of foreign made goods the goals is to boost up our indian economy and the support our indian product either you end up fighting or you end up blaming the government you never think of solution actually there is no need to crack your heads to renovate a solution it is already there the swadeshi movement started with the partition of bengal by the rajon in 1905 and continued up to 1911 this is the old history of swadeshi andolan it was the most successful of the pre gandhian movement the swadeshi as a strategy was a key focus of mahatma gandhi who described it as the soul of swaraj among the movement various form of struggle it was the boycott of foreign made goods that encountered the greatest visible success on the political and popular level boycott and public burning of foreign cloths picketing of shop selling foreign goods all become common in remote corners of bengal as well as in many major cities and town across the country in the present era we start again the swadeshi movement in the terms of making india आत्मनिर्भर भारत इट्स नॉट सिंपली अबाउट द बॉयकॉटिंग द फॉरन मेड प्रोडक्ट्स सपोज यू वॉन्ट टू बाय ए आईटेम एंड केम अक्रॉस टू प्रोडक्ट्स वन द प्रोडक्ट फ्रॉम आवर नेशन एंड अनदर प्रोडक्ट फ्रॉम डिफरेंट कंट्री and you found that the indian product cost is high than two, uh, high 2 or 3 rupees and you are very happy that you were able to save few rupees but do you know how much it affects the nation and in turn you when you buy the foreign made goods naturally the money is goes out 
in dollar to that country. As a result, which reduce our currency value. The high price for the imported goods like raw materials for medicine, petrols and others due to the value of rupees is decreased. So the impact as a result the time value of the money is that decrease the value of a dollar over time. But the price of goods and services to increase over time, it will take a larger percentage of your income to purchase the same good or service in future. Though Presumably you save few rupees to purchase the same good or service in future. So when so much money spent on importing goods, government is compelled to raise taxes to level out the money went the outside the country. So this is the main cause of rise taxes. Even if you have to pay a bit extra for Indian product, please do it because it give you a long term benefits. It not only boosts our GDP, but also it will get back to us in the form of better education, healthcare, and different new schemes. We have given numerous CEOs and scientists to the world. All of them have chosen to work for foreign all of us. Why? There are several examples. These are the few list of foreign CEOs. The major reason, I think, there are several issues like the political issues, choice of peoples. And some of us support the foreign product, not the product made by us. I know some of you may ask why you use laptop, mobile phone instead of the foreign made products. I believe that very soon you like our Indian products. By purchasing the Swadeshi product, we are boosting the Indian companies to produce the better quality products. The quality, no compromise in quality. The greatest weakness of most human in their uh, this weakness, I believe that our Indian product is much, much better than the foreign products. The quality is never an accident. The quality is more important than quantity. Quality is not what happens when what you do match your intentions. Quality is a result of a carefully constructed cultural environment. It is essential to maintain the quality of a product. So quality is not an act, 
it is a habit in our country the quality council of india is work hard to maintain the quality of product of our nation so india is still very weak when it comes to innovation and startup culture the indian citizens today are in obsessed their consumption of product in the technological field and otherwise to those which are manufactured in the country this situation has led to many trying to find which like the smartphone laptops and other gadgets are made in india there are many indian laptop brands that provide some great and sturdy laptop that one can use so innovation is nothing but a culture the innovation culture is the work environment that leaders cultivate culture the workplace that foster a culture of innovation generally subscribe to the belief that innovation is not the province of top leadership but can come from anyone in the organization there are thousand of problems which need the innovative solution the creative problem solving is a way of using your creativity to develop new ideas and solution to problems the process is based on spreading the divergent and convergent of thinking style so that you can focus your mind on creating at the first stage and then evolving at the second stage the creative problem solving is the mental process of searching for an original and previously unknown solution to a problem to qualify the solution must be novel and reach independently in many sides day by day to solve the problem which arises to a particular product or which associated with a particular product if you able to overcome those problem i believe that your product will be the best product and it pass the quality questions don't look for a great idea look a good problem to create anything that is truly path breaking you need to look for it a new place yet we should not confuse a great idea with where it came from truly useful idea don't arise from out of the either or though the fancy technique like brainstorming or divergent thinking the best idea came in response to an important problem and thrived the under the constants the constants are not fixed it change day by day so the problem solution is not a fixed so based on your idea based on the problem which are currently facing if you are able to solve those problem carefully your product is your product will be the a good and novel product so startup culture is essential a 
new era, new challenges. Every age comes with its own unique problems. If you look, the past 20 or 30 years, we have mostly been occupied with finding new applications for new technologies that afford the entirely new industries in different applications like the building of computers, enterprise, new softwares, e-commerce, everything. The solving of those problems will create a fantastic new opportunities. So we have to move from the strategic planning to innovation planning. A large part of strategic planning is basically for information collecting like the information from market, different competitors and other trends and then they plan accordingly. Strategy was like a game of chess. It changed frequently. And you have to adopt those changes. You planned each move in response to a changing the board and in you have to change your strategy planning with time. And when you plan to change some strategy, you require some innovation planning. Yet today, the technology cycles move faster cycles. Day by day, the technology is improved and your product is gradually deteriorate with respect to time. So, we need to take more statistical approach for strategy planning. We need to become the less wrong over time. Essentially, we need to treat the strategy like a role playing game and taking quest to earn us the experience. The experience is essential for strategy planning and innovation planning. That means that we will need to plan differently. In addition to strategic planning or planning based on thing we know or think we know Moving from the strategic planning to innovative planning, that means that we will need to plan differently. Based on thing, we need to learn to solve the new and important problems. The some problems may be important or not relevant to your product. But if you able to solve those problem, those novel solution, people definitely like your product. So the important problems that carried out, we require to give them the innovative solution. So don't look for a great idea. Yeah, this product, if I able to develop or this product is the best. Not like that. Look for a good problem and its solution. So the idea generation is an important part of startup program. For idea generation, 
you have to search the market the recent trends what are the problems and how you able to solve those problem this is the basic motivation of startup program let's start our startup program